Welcome back to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer and it's glad you're with us. Our guest is David Gutierrez. He's a member of the City Council in San Gabriel, but he's also the chair of the Alameda Corridor East Construction Authority, which is what? Alameda Construction Authority is um, a program, a, uh, uh, an organization that was uh, started in 1998. Um, and uh, it is now into its uh, 14th year. And the purpose of this was uh, a, a foresight to make grade crossings safer uh, throughout the San Gabriel Valley. And so we identified 22 grade crossings that, that needed separation uh, from the uh, railroad tracks. And let's talk about why we need this. There's some very good news coming out of the ports, and that is port traffic is up. And in it fact, is. the Long Beach port just announced the Middle Harbor project had been approved. It's going to be got a $4.6 billion project, a 40 year lease. It could 14,000 permanent jobs. So that's great news, but that means more cargo coming right through the basin. It sure does. Uh, we're going to see the traffic, uh, rail traffic will increase uh, by probably 60% in the very near future. And, you know, realizing that 40% of all of the U.S. waterborne containerized uh, uh, freight comes through either the port of Long Beach or the port of Los Angeles. I didn't know this. I learned this recently. I think it's about 650,000 jobs in Southern California are dependent on the ports. And so we need to keep the ports healthy and we need to keep the traffic out of the ports healthy. And that's part of the purpose of the ACE. That is correct. And as I mentioned before, the 22 grade crossings, as we see the number of containers moving, increasing, uh, we're going to see vehicular traffic uh, delays go up by over 300%. So what you're trying to do, as I understand it, is you want to make a, a grade, you don't want it on the ground. Correct. You want it either above the ground or or below the ground. Could be below right. the ground, is that right. right? We've had we've had all of the above where we've actually had um, the uh, vehicular uh, crossing go below the railroad tracks. We've had it go So the over cars the go under, correct. not the train. That is correct. Can the train go under? The, uh, the train can go under right. and you're going to see that in San Gabriel. See, and that, that, that is just a, a great segue to the largest project of the ACE Tell us. of the 22 grade crossings. And that's going to occur in the city of San Gabriel where you're going to see four grade crossings go below the track, or excuse me, go below the uh, vehicular uh, intersection. And you're, you will see the trench uh, uh, take, uh, start taking place, so the digging of the trench within uh, the next few months. In addition to safety, that means jobs. It does. Over 12,000 jobs uh, will be uh, brought to, to the San Gabriel Valley in the next phase of the construction. I want to digress for a second. I know that the San Gabriel Mission is near some of these construction projects and recently at the mission uh, you found or near the mission you found some tremendous artifacts as a result of excavation yes you know we knew that um, because of the uh, the deep long history of the uh, uh, native americans that uh, were adjacent to the sangro mission we knew that we needed to do some uh, work ahead of time before we actually brought right. the, the big diggers in so we, uh, for the last three months, have been doing an archaeological dig to come up with uh, any uh, any remnants. You found some human <clears throat> remains. You found a tooth. You found a foot. I don't mean to be macabre, but that's remarkable. Yes. Reburied them, but also other things. Yes, uh, there was a, a Spanish coin uh, found mm -hmm. and probably several hundred other articles that just tied in the significance of, of the region with, with history no doubt. Of, of people who uh, were visitors and uh, settlers. Terrific. His name is David Gutierrez. He's a member of the City Council in San Gabriel, also the chairman of the Alameda Corridor East Construction Authority. Glad to hear more jobs are coming to the San Gabriel Valley and the entire region. I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. Back to HLN.